I'm Melanie Watton, I'm Arts and Health Project Manager at Cardiff and Vale University Health Board and we're delighted today to be at University Hospital and Doc. Um, we're also delighted to be able to meet Nicola O'Callaghan who is Superintendent Radiographer here in the Nuclear Medicine Department at Landoc. When Nicola approached the arts team at Cardiff Vale Health Charity with a view to improving the environment in the department, we immediately felt that the Women's Arts Association might be able to support us, who very kindly donated a very generous number of artworks which have formed this collection. So welcome Nicola, I wonder could we start by explaining a little bit about the department and the need for improving the environment here at Nuclear Medicine? Sure. So the Nuclear Medicine Department is part of radiology. We offer a wide range of services to patients undergoing cancer treatment, musculoskeletal, care of the elderly as well as in patients. In 2017, the department underwent a major refurbishment where we got state-of-the-art technology and this involved um, refurbishing the whole department including the injection room. The injection room previously housed large laboratory equipment which wasn't particularly welcoming environment for patients who attend for sometimes intimate, anxious times of their treatment. Um, so we would allow, doing the refurbishment, we removed all those pieces of equipment to cater for more of an injection based uh, procedure. This left the walls very bare. So you approached the arts team in Carlton Vale Health yeah. Charity with a request to um, improve the environment somehow with art. And um, listening to the, the patients who attended the clinics, we felt that the Women's Arts Association would be ideal, perhaps if they would like to collaborate with us mm. in, um, in refurbishing the department. So I think it's fair to say we were quite overwhelmed by the generous response from their members. Yeah, uh, quite rightly so. A lot of our work here, um, we perform injections for patients undergoing breast surgery the following day. Um, and it's a very anxious time for them when they come before going to surgery. So when you said about contacting the WAA, I thought that was a fantastic idea. So how has it improved the environment? So when they'd undergo in the procedure, it is quite an intimate, it's not a pleasant procedure to undergo. They, they sat in a small injection room and sometimes they're looking for a bit of distraction. The emotions are flying high at that time and sometimes patients can be very sort of, um, they put up barriers because of the emotions they feel in. So the artwork we found overwhelming in the response. First of all, I just wanted one or two pieces um, and I've been you know, inundated with such lovely pieces of work. So this allowed us to put two pieces of work either side of the injection chair so that when they are in that position, they can turn either way and it's provided that platform for them to look at something and providing that sort of visual escapism for them. Well, that's amazing. And how has it affected the patients? Have you had many comments about the artwork? So many, so many. Um, it really has made a difference. The, uh, the art is so varied and it's such an exceptional quality throughout the department. Um, like I said, I was completely overwhelmed by the response um, from going from just hoping for two pieces of artwork to the number that we, we had in the end. So this allowed every corner of the department to be filled with such stunningly picturesque pieces of artwork. That's wonderful to hear. And there were so many artworks that were able to help out with the University Hospital of Wales as well, weren't we? We so. were indeed. We were lucky enough to find which piece of artwork fitted out every corner of our department itself, but then to still be left with so many that we extended it throughout our own radiology department, where the patients will often get changed. But again, such an abundance of art, we were able to offer it to uh, UHW, who underwent the same refurbishment in 2017. So they had the same situation, of very bare walls, but a nice, lovely department, and they wanted to show it off as well and adorn it with uh, their own artwork. Thank you, Nicola. It sounds as if this has made an incredible difference um, to the department for the patients. Mm. I wonder, could you explain how it might have affected the staff members as well in improving the environment here? Absolutely, that's been a bonus. I hadn't set out to have that as 
um, an outcome. However, the staff have enjoyed looking at the pieces of art and it just makes it, coming here every day, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. So I have witnessed firsthand how the artwork has benefited the patients. I've been so grateful, so overwhelmed by everybody's generosity from the WAA. And all I can say is that it really has made such a difference. It's been an outstanding response. Thank you.